Like a lot of liberal Democrats, I found the Bush years really hard to take. So I quit my job in 2008 and joined the Obama campaign, working in three states. A lot of progressive dreamers just like me set their lives aside to work for the campaign, and what we all wanted most was to elect someone who would massively expand a program of extrajudicial assassination with robot planes. There were tangential issues, of course. Some Democrats wanted to deport 1.5 million people. Others wanted to make sure we didn't reform the financial industry after it blew up the economy, etc. But the one issue on which we all agreed was extrajudicial assassination with robot planes. So we hit the doors and phones to make our case, and we explained to voters how important it was when the U.S. suspects someone of being bad to be able to obliterate them and anyone who happens to be in the vicinity with a missile from a robot plane. Naturally, American voters had questions. Why don't we just capture the suspects? It's hard. So hard. Not to mention illegal in most cases. Isn't killing them also illegal? I'm gonna write you down as leaning yes. Shouldn't people get, like, a trial or something? Ah, so long trials have to prove their guilt, which is often super hard. So, and some were like, are we sure these people are guilty? And we assured them, probably. Isn't the intelligence sometimes wrong? No. What about collateral damage? Candidate Obama has promised to designate everyone in the target zone as EKIAs, or enemies killed in action, while additionally admitting to a small, deeply regrettable number of innocent kills and sincerely apologizing to them. And some people said, well, don't criminal suspects still have rights? (laughs) And we had a good laugh and said, these aren't American citizens. Mostly, some Democrats were like, wait, aren't we against the death penalty? And we're like, no, 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 not in states where that polls badly. Should the president just get to decide that someone should die. I totally hear you, but it's okay. He's a good guy. But some people were still legitimately concerned and said, well, what if we expand this presidential authority and then a crazy Republican becomes president? And we said, don't worry about that. There will never be another Republican president. And the rest is history. We won. Now, as we find ourselves at a new crossroads, many of us who worked on the campaign are worried about the program for which we fought so hard. But what's so great about this year is that we have two candidates who are guaranteed to extrajudicially assassinate the hell out of people with robot planes. Isn't that a great choice? They're both for it. The only way we can lose the program is if you vote for Jill Stein. So if you really love extrajudicial assassination with robot planes and you think it's the right thing to do, do not vote for Jill Stein. Because everything that we've accomplished in the last couple decades might be undone.